There's something special about stumbling upon the work of someone who leaves a lasting impression. Maybe you remember watching a movie that really stuck with you, or perhaps you had a memorable encounter with someone who made a big impact. If you have any stories like that, we'd love to hear them. Share your memories or experiences in the comments below. We've got some interesting facts to share about this well-known actor, so stay tuned. Get ready for a mix of surprising, funny, and touching moments. Your stories matter, and we can't wait to read them. Growing up in a lively household with five siblings, she was encouraged by her family to pursue acting. Their strong support helped her love acting more and more. Surrounded by a busy family, she really liked being on stage when she was young. She enjoyed acting in local plays where she could be different people and tell interesting stories. Doing these plays made her realize that acting was what she wanted to do. As she got better at acting, important people in the acting world noticed her talent and liked her. In the late 1930s, she started acting in Hollywood, and that was just the beginning of her big journey. She always remembered where she came from and how her family and early acting experiences helped her. She talked a lot about her family and how they practiced acting together at home. Her roles in movies showed how her early experiences influenced her acting. From being a regular kid to becoming famous in Hollywood, her story showed that if you work hard and have people who believe in you, you can achieve your dreams. She inspired many people who wanted to act, showing them that if you keep trying, you can make it. Priscilla Lane's story is a great example of overcoming challenges and following your dreams. In the world of classic Hollywood, a fascinating story unfolds around a talented actress who caught the eye of Alfred Hitchcock. Married briefly to an assistant director and screenwriter, their union lasted only a day before being annulled. Despite Universal Pictures initially favoring another actress for horror films, her theatrical background made her the perfect fit for Hitchcock's vision. Cast alongside Robert Cummings, she became part of a dynamic duo in a movie project showcasing her dramatic skills. When a leading role in Four Daughters became available after Betty Davis declined, she and her sister seized the opportunity, propelling her into stardom. The film's success led to two sequels, cementing her status as a rising star in Hollywood. Her journey, marked by twists and turns, demonstrates the unpredictability of the entertainment industry where talent and opportunity intersect in unexpected ways. In the exciting era of the 1920s, she starred in a movie called The Roaring Twenties alongside Humphrey Bogart. The previous year, she and Bogart had acted together in a film called Men Are Such Fools. When she was 34 years old, she happily welcomed her second child, Hannah Howard, with her second husband, Joseph A. Howard, on April 17th. This was a joyful moment for her family, adding more happiness and love to their lives. Balancing her work on screen with her duties as a mother brought her a lot of satisfaction. Her life story continues to inspire both aspiring actors and mothers because of her talent and strength. She was laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery next to her husband, Colonel Joseph Howard, who received full military honors in 1976. Her final resting place honors her work in entertainment and her service to her country. In the early days of Hollywood, there was an actress who captivated audiences with her talent and charm. She starred in a variety of roles from dramas to comedies, showcasing her ability to adapt to any character thrown her way. One of her notable performances was in a film where she played Patricia, the lead role chosen by Alfred Hitchcock himself. The movie faced challenges during a late night airing in New York City, with half of it being cut due to prior edits. However, despite setbacks, the film regained its full airing a few years later, cementing her reputation as a skilled actress. Her ability to shine on screen left a lasting impact on Hollywood, inspiring many aspiring actors and filmmakers. Her journey is a testament to resilience and determination in the face of obstacles. Indeed, her story continues to resonate with audiences even today. Interwoven with collaborations and personal milestones, the journey of the actress whose life we're delving into offers a fascinating glimpse into the balancing act between professional endeavors and personal life. At the heart of the story lies a bond between sisters, as one graces the stage while the other joins her in a memorable radio adaptation. Later, a significant chapter unfolds as she embraces motherhood, welcoming her first child, a son marking a profound shift in her life's narrative. In one film, she embarks on a search for a place, a quest that mirrors her future role in another movie set in the same locale. These roles serve as signposts in her career, each adding depth to her portrayal of characters residing in the borough. Throughout her journey, familial ties, career milestones, and personal joys intersect, painting a vivid portrait of an actress navigating the ebb and flow of life. 
In Saboteur, Patricia drove her bright yellow 1941 Plymouth convertible along the twisty roads, a symbol of freedom during wartime chaos. Despite big challenges, she showed strong determination both on and off the screen. During this tough time, she had her fourth child, a son named James Howard, showing how tough she was. At 40, she became a mom again, handling the joys and duties gracefully. Her second husband, Joseph Howard, was always there for her, giving her support and company through life's ups and downs. Together, they made a strong team, staying in love despite Hollywood's ups and downs. During her acting career, Patricia caught the attention of many casting directors. She was even considered for famous roles like Melanie Wilkes in Gone with the Wind. Even though she didn't get that part, just being thought of for such famous characters showed how talented and versatile she was. Throughout everything, Patricia Lane remained a symbol of grace and style. Her impact on movies will always be remembered. Her story, filled with successes and struggles, keeps inspiring new actors and actresses, showing them how passion and persistence pay off. After she retired, she and her husband, who was in the Air Force, went on lots of adventures. They traveled all over the country because of his job. They saw big cities and quiet countryside, making lots of memories together. Eventually, they settled down in New England and had a family. They loved the peaceful atmosphere and decided to stay. They built a happy home and raised four kids. In 1958, she got back into the spotlight by hosting a TV show in Boston. People loved her warmth and charm but she was really famous for her acting. In a movie called Saboteur, she played a character named Patricia. One scene in a library where she helped the main character was unforgettable. People loved watching her on screen and stage. She brought characters to life in a way that stuck with people. Even though she's gone, people still remember her and the stories she told. Her life was full of adventures and talent, and it's something people won't forget. In a family full of sisters, she grew up surrounded by movies, where her talent shone brightly alongside famous actors like Jeffrey Lynn. They made eight films together, telling stories of love and drama that people loved. One of their movies was called Four Daughters, and another was The Roaring Twenties. When she was 38, she became a mom again, this time having her third child, a daughter named Judith Howard. She was very happy and loved her family a lot. She was married to her second husband, Josepha Howard, and they faced the ups and downs of being parents together. She made a big impact on movies, capturing people's hearts with her grace and charm. The movies she was in will always be remembered for how they entertain people. Priscilla Lane's story is one of not giving up, following what you love, and how movies can touch people's lives. In the past, she played Elaine Harper in a well-known play. After that, she appeared in some movies like Fun on a Weekend and Bodyguard, but they didn't reach many people. Even though she was talented, she had some problems in her career. She got in trouble for turning down certain roles and asking for more money, which led to her getting suspended by Jack L. Warner. Surprisingly, Alfred Hitchcock didn't think she was right for one of his movies, Saboteur, and said so himself. This shows how tough it can be to make it in Hollywood. But still, Priscilla Lane made a mark in the movies, and people all over still enjoy her work. Against all expectations, she departed from the glitz of Hollywood while she was at the top of her game. Surprising many, she made the choice to focus on her family after getting married, leaving behind a promising career in the film industry. Her sudden exit left fans and colleagues saddened by her absence from the big screen. Even though her time in Hollywood was brief, her talent left a lasting impression on audiences. This narrative showcases the depth of her abilities and the mark she left during her stint in the limelight. In a surprising turn of events, Priscilla Lane, despite her successful acting career, decided to step away from the limelight at the age of 38. This unexpected choice left both fans and those in the industry puzzled. Even though she was at the height of her career, Lane opted for a more private life outside of Hollywood. This decision surprised many because she was known for her talent and people wanted to see more of her on screen. Despite the curiosity surrounding her exit, Lane remained firm in her decision choosing a quieter life away from the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. This aspect of her life continues to captivate fans, adding a layer of mystery to her story. It's a move that has kept people intrigued, and her impact on the entertainment world is still felt today. Did you know that a well-known actress from classic Hollywood faced heartbreaking tragedy in her personal life? She starred in popular films alongside famous actors like Cary Grant and James Stewart during the 1930s and 1940s. This talented actress, along with her sisters, ventured into show business, captivating audiences with her charm and skill. 
Despite her success, she chose to leave acting behind to focus on her family. Sadly, she experienced immense sorrow when her husband died in a plane crash. After this loss, she withdrew from public life, prioritizing her role as a mother and widow. Even though she faced challenges, her work in movies remains beloved by many, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. Her performances continue to be treasured by audiences, proving her enduring influence. In a rather tragic turn of events, Lane's promising career was cut short due to personal reasons. After her marriage to Oakes, she decided to retire from acting, leaving behind a burgeoning profession in Hollywood. It was a surprising choice for someone with such talent and potential in the industry. However, Lane prioritized her family life over her career, ultimately stepping away from the limelight to focus on her role as a wife and mother. This decision shocked many of her fans and colleagues as Lane's talent was undeniable and her absence left a void in the entertainment world. Despite this, she remained dedicated to her family until her passing, showing that her priorities never wavered. It's a poignant reminder of the sacrifices individuals make for the ones they love, even if it means giving up something as promising as a career in acting. 